And now what we're gonna do, what they're gonna do is somehow, somehow he's gonna walk that bridge. I think they've got a tractor, an excavator and a tractor. They're gonna walk that bridge around this corner and they're gonna walk this bridge down here. If we're talking, maybe I'm going to up. You can see he used to have a, a wood bridge in this canyon. And he, he said he was very lucky because he redecked the wood bridge. He added more decking to it. And he came back the next day or two days later and the whole bridge had collapsed. So the weight of the decking, fortunately nobody was on it. Welcome to the great Northwest. More than half his property, he owns four acres on the other side that he would like to be able to get to. And this is the means for doing it. So. To be able to most easily move the bridge around the corner, they attached a, an excavator to each end. This allowed them to move the arm of the excavator and line up the bridge. This bridge is 72 feet long and six feet wide. So this gave them the ability to pull pretty easily. This bridge frame weighs 3,200 pounds. So each excavator is only holding 1,600 pounds, which as you can see, a medium sized excavator can handle this pretty easily. Because this bridge was so long and the corner was so sharp, there was a tree that had to be felled in order to allow the end of the bridge to swing out around the corner. With the tree out of the way, the excavator could swing the bridge way out and get it so that this 72 foot long bridge could make the corner. This bridge is made of six foot long sections that are roughly six feet tall. So there are a total of 12 sections making up the 72 foot long bridge. They ran a cable across the, the ravine attaching it securely to trees on both sides. Then they attached a pulley to the top of the straps and set the pulley onto the cable. Keep going! Keep going! At this point, the excavator in the rear is pushing the bridge out until it is hanging on the end of the cable. There you go. We're flying. We're flying. Now the rear excavator can simply push the bridge all the way across the canyon. Easy. Uh -oh. Fortunately, they did not have to clear any more trees. Brian. We need to be safe here. Again, using an excavator with the long reach allows the bridge to be maneuvered around the corner. At this point, one end of the bridge is almost across the canyon, while the other end, the operator is having a pretty easy time lining it up over the concrete abutments. Here you see that the straps that connect the bridge to the excavator are one section in from the end of the bridge, but this is not necessary. They could easily have been attached to the very end of the bridge. At the other end of the bridge, there were people waiting to line the bridge up on the abutments that had been poured at that end. Never bolt the bridge directly to the concrete abutments. Instead, wrap a chain around each corner of the bridge and bolt that to the abutments. 
This will allow the bridge to expand and contract with temperature and load. I hope you enjoyed seeing a 72 by 6 foot rolling barge bridge frame being set in place.